Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carla, and I'm a second year cellular neuroscience student on the pre-med track. And when I was in high school, I used to think sleep was a complete waste of time, to be honest. I know it's embarrassing, but anyway, I came across this podcast, and in the podcast, they talked about the importance of sleep. Now, this isn't something that I really cared much for until I knew about it, and that's why I'm making a video, in case you happen to stumble across this and it changes your perspective, just a slight bit. So in this video, I'm just gonna give you five things I learned from this podcast. I'll leave a link to the podcast in the description below, in case you wanna check it out. So when we sleep, our body is producing proteins called cytokines, and they also produce T cells, which are important components in your immune system and how it's gonna be attacking inflammation and attacking pathogens, essentially. And so if we don't get a good night's sleep, we're not gonna have those defense systems and we're not gonna have our full immune system supporting us through our daily lives. And I never really knew that. I feel like that's super specific. So the more you know. So the second thing I learned was uh, regarding memory consolidation. And what that means is just how we're making memories, how we're keeping the knowledge that we learn and making our memories stronger, essentially. And sleep is making our connections with the information that we just learned stronger by making the neurons, the neural connections stronger, essentially. And of course, like with any muscle, you need sleep so you can recover and restore it. It's the same with your brain and with neurons. Neurons are what's holding the information that we know when we sleep we're making these neurons, these neural connections stronger. And just like a professional athlete who takes care of their bodies super well, they work out, they have good uh, night's sleep and they have good nutrition and because of that, they get stronger. And that's the same thing with studying or with learning new things. You work out, you study, you get a good night's sleep, you get good nutrition and that's gonna lead to better improvements, higher memory consolidation. So when I was in my first semester or freshman year, um, just like everybody else, there were constant all-nighters, right? And this was kind of unhealthy, but I used to think that if I could just stay up all night and learn all the material and study as hard as I could, that the next morning when I had my exam, I would just magically remember it all because I had just revised it uh, so recently. However, I never thought about this biological component of memory consolidation until I learned about it later on in a neuroscience course. and that's when it started to make more sense. The nights that I would revise just a little bit, I wasn't super stressed or whatever, just like studying a little bit to get ahead. I would get a good night's sleep and the next morning I would like remember everything so vividly. That has to do a lot with how your neural connections are getting stronger. So my brain was just getting stronger. Something that we uh, can forget about sometimes is like stress. And since we're in this for the long run, there's gonna be lots of years of studying and that can be discouraging and you can really burn out if you're not taking care of yourself. And having a good night's sleep is a super important part of taking care of yourself because your body and your mind aren't gonna be able to restore themselves if you're not getting a good night's sleep. And so rather than, you know, maybe a spa day, maybe we should think about consistently getting a good night's sleep so that we can be less stressed overall. Maybe that's like something you could try for your next finals week. You could try to get a good night's sleep every night instead of doing all-nighters. I may be guilty of that just a bit. And see if that helps you with your exams. I always notice that when I'm not super stressed about an exam, I do better than if I'm like freaking out. I've noticed that my grades will be so much worse if I'm focusing on how I'm gonna get a good grade and I'm super stressed about it. But if I get a good night's sleep, you know, everything kind of goes down. I try to understand better the material that I'm learning and then just say, I'm only gonna be able to do my best and if my best isn't good enough, oh well. I noticed that these were the thoughts that were ultimately pushing me to fail because I, I wasn't focusing on the material, just focusing on what the effects were of if I didn't do well in this exam. And you know, you always learn from your failures, so don't stress out about it too much. Don't stress out about your exams so much that you can't like focus, that you don't like, that you're shaking while taking the exam. That's not the way to do it. If you get a good night's sleep, do it consistently and see how that helps you with your future exams. Just think, you know, if you're really stressed about how you need to get a good grade on this exam, just think about like in a month, two months, where you're not even gonna be thinking about how you didn't do well on this exam. You're gonna be focusing on what's in the now, so essentially, get a good night's sleep, kids. So maintaining a healthy body weight. I never realized that that actually came down to how you slept. Having a healthy lifestyle is gonna be, make sure that the way that your hormones are balanced is more efficient. And that's gonna mean that it's gonna be easier to be at a healthy body weight, because if you stay up every night, it's more likely that you're gonna gain weight, simply because your hormones are just imbalanced and your body to, like doesn't know how to act. So I thought that one was kind of interesting, especially in quarantine when it's a lot more difficult to get active nowadays. Something that you can try to preserve is your sleep hygiene and I definitely recommend that because if you can't work out as much, you know, it's gonna be harder to maintain a healthier body weight. So Alzheimer's, this isn't something that I really know and I guess we don't as a people understand how it works all the way, but a more simplified version, how I think about it anyway, is your brain is made of neurons. 
and these have connections everywhere and that's gonna let you remember things it's gonna let you talk it's gonna be your personality it's like your everything it's your essence if we don't get a good night's sleep our neurons die because it's like your neurons are gonna be trying to like work overtime and just they're just gonna like stop functioning they're gonna die and they're gonna make these structures called plaques and tangles and that just means like dead neurons like f structures of dead neurons if you ever think of like swiss cheese there's like holes in swiss cheese so if you have a brain and you have dead neurons, then you have holes in your brain. Maybe like one or two at the beginning isn't that big a deal, right? Because overall you have like trillions that are just perfectly fine. And so you got one or two little holes here, it's not that big a deal. But over time, if we're consistently getting a bad night's sleep and you know, we're like one or two every night, we're getting one or two of these plaques and tangles every night, we're gonna start getting lots of holes everywhere. And from my understanding, that means that that's when you start getting diseases like Alzheimer's or dementia. Like our brain is just having too many holes and you just can't, you know, make connections and you can't remember things. And that to me sounds really scary. <laughs> So just to think that there's like maybe something that we can do to try to prevent these diseases from happening or from developing is super powerful because if we're going to be getting a consistent night's sleep, I mean, sometimes we can't prevent these cases, but it's something that we can do to try to decrease the likelihood that we'll get something like this. So I think it's important to use it at our advantage. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe and let me know what you guys think about these health videos. I mean, I'm just a pre-med student, but I like to apply these uh, tidbits to my life. So maybe it helps someone else. So catch you guys in the next episode.